Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be totally cringy and honest. I've like filmed this little intro part so many times. <laughs> I get so like in my head about what I say at the very beginning sometimes. Um, anyways, I am taking on another day of playing miss, getting that thing done. And I want to just go over it quickly. Um, my ideas and my thoughts behind trying like a whole new, I'm not even going to say planner system, but a whole new planning style. Um, so for like a week's time. So I mentioned in one of my last videos that I was trying this like new method, new to me. Um, I had gotten all the inspiration. I'm sure there's others. I've seen like others split it and blah, blah, blah. Um, but like a new to me style. I really liked the way Ave Camellia, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name or her handle correctly, so I'm sorry if you're watching. Um, I saw her do something like this, I'm pretty sure, inside of her, um, her Hobonichi Weeks. And before, I know that I'm going to like show things that I'm, I don't really feel like I need to show. I'm gonna cover them. I need to place a new sticky note order. I know I said my shop's like closed right now, which it is, but I need to buy more sticky notes, like just even for myself and my own stash. And then I'm like, well, if I'm buying some for myself, then I might as well buy extra for my friends too. Um, so I don't know. I need new sticky notes though. I had to use like my old Thanksgiving ones just to censor information. Anyways, I am long-winded in saying that I saw her <coughs> with this planner style and I wanted to try it out. And I was um, like kind of just doing things around the house, came back, wanted to sit down with my planner. And I realized that I've been trying this now for like a full seven days. Technically a little bit over, um, not like consistently, but like Monday the 27th until Monday, December 4th. What my thoughts are, um, I just wanted to like go over that. My thoughts, my ideas, and how I think that this style could fit for me. Um, I think that this community is amazing and we all share inspiration and ideas from each other. And I think the really cool part of that is that we're all creative beings and we've all been gifted, even if you don't think it, with creative talents. And there's a way to love and adore and admire someone's style or system. Try it out and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. But I think there's like a way you can still incorporate it, right? Like even if the way they use their style doesn't work for them, like take bits of their style and like make it work for what you need. Um, I think in doing that, we can get rid of like, I don't wanna say um, like consumerism. I don't wanna say like the FOMO, I guess, of like seeing someone's style and being like, wow, mine's never gonna look like that. Like, and getting bummed out. So I don't really know what the word is for that like setting yourself up for failure type of thing. Um, really, it's not that serious. But what I'm trying to say is I think we can pick pieces and parts of what something looks like for somebody and make those parts work for us in a totally easy way. Um, so I don't even know if this is honestly how she used it. If it was like true dailies, um, I would have to go back and rewatch the video again. Um, but my thoughts on doing it. So this first day, I really loved it. I don't know if I really love the way that the pen wrote. I don't know if my handwriting was just on point that day. I did this and I think also this though, when I did this, I might've even done this on camera. I like went back after the fact, after the day was practically complete. And a lot of this is like in past tense. Um, It's in past tense. I might've been, I was planning to come lay in bed and read but I came early because I had Beatrice crying. Um, yeah, I was like laying in bed and I think I filled this in um, that night. I did like maybe these few things in the beginning. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is like that first Monday, I had high hopes. And then I kind of just like added more. This day I was like, ooh, I don't like the way my handwriting looks. Like I don't like the way any of this feels. Wednesday, I tried to use it very functionally. Um, a little bit different than how I did these first days, right? It was more like back plan, backfill type of thing. This Wednesday, I really tried to, again, I didn't like the way the pen looked, but um, I really tried to make it very functional. I think it looks like that Wednesday, I had like a lot of to-do lists floating through my head 
and I just put all of that on paper. Um, but the thing with that was that I like, it was a good dumping ground and I never really came back to it. I think I put these things down and crossed them off because they had already been done. But it wasn't something I came back to. I think I like wrote these things in another planner and then that's like when I did them. Um, this day, Thursday, again, this is like kind of after the fact. Friday, I liked, again, I don't know if it was the same pen. Maybe it's just like the pen thing, who knows. Um, but it was also like I went back in and filled things in. So, as the days kind of go on, and then, like, you could see, I even mentioned in my last video, I kind of fell off. Like, I totally forgot about even, like, using this back part. I think because I was, like, really heavily using maybe this, um, my Moleskine Spiral, who knows. Um, but in my last video, I tried to, like, pre-plan the day. And to me, I don't know if that's the way it's going to work for me. I really, really enjoy the way that it looks um, the way that it feels and I can remember laying in bed after the day had been done and going in and writing these things and feeling like mm, that is the chef's kiss that I never knew I needed and like really enjoying doing that um, and I think if every day could look like that I would enjoy it more so I had never really heard of the term like micro journaling um, I guess we're like always throwing new terms out there but like I'd never heard of that um, until journaling home on Instagram and I think she has a, a YouTube um, she ha has like all these journaling prompts and amazing like cute little digital things and she was the one that had used that word and I had never heard it and I was like whoa I really like the way that sounds um, maybe even like Stacy plans has like does something similar to that um I don't know um but I think that the way that this could work really well for me is it to micro journal not to like try and dump everything out in the beginning of the day to like put all my to-do list down but at the end of the day I think that sometimes that's what I feel like I miss out of the Hobonichi whereas I can get in something like really big like this or even in like my little, my A5, um, freely noted, something like that, where I have so much space, I can write literally anything that's on my mind every second of the day. Um, you can't do that in the Hobonichi just because in the mega or not in the standard for sure, but not in the mega. If you want to like conserve pages and have time or room for the whole year, um, and like really thinking about it that way, knowing how narrow these pages can be. I feel like some days I look at these pages and I'm like, wow, that's like, that's really wide. That's a lot of space. And then some days I look at it and it just feels so narrow and like compact and it just doesn't drive. And so I think that that's a way that I can get the best of both worlds. Um, and I really miss putting like, like today would have been a great day to do like a full blown daily. And I think that's what I'm going to do on camera. And I... Needless to say, um, tried something new for like a full seven days. I think that's the least we could do for ourselves is to try something out. Um, and I tried something new for seven days. I found what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. And I think it's something that I will, I like do intend on keeping. And however that fits is probably going to be just like micro journaling at the end of the day. Because if you've seen in like my other Hobonichis, um, the daily spreads have like little bits of micro journaling in them, like little bits of like memory keeping, I guess you can call it. I feel like part of me feels like those two terms are like very interchangeable, at least for the way I operate. Um, and the only thing that makes me sad and I felt like I needed to always have like something extra in my hands was because I never felt like I could do that every single day. And still, not that every day even warrants it, but having the option right like just knowing you have the option because there is not going to be enough pages so i love this idea i think that's the way i'm going to use it for me moving forward i think just because it didn't work the way that i was using it doesn't mean um or that i tried using it intermittently in that seven day period doesn't mean it's not working it just means that i've kind of honed in on a way that it could work in a way that doesn't feel um like I have to do a lot of maintenance with it and I felt like this was just very fluid and enjoyable and like so was that and I got to capture like little pieces of the day but I also got to put like 
I mean, at the end of the day, a to-do list is a to-do list, but like, it's also um, like a trigger in your brain for like a memory, right? So I don't know. I like to incorporate to-do lists in my memory keeping as well. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So tried it seven days, found ways that I, I like it and ways I can use it. But moving on from that, I really have been craving, craving with a capital all block letters, um, like a full daily of like how I used to have so many of them. And so that's what we're going to do on camera. Um, I am filming this like shortly after this last video that you probably just saw. So surprise if... <laughs> everything's um if things sound a little similar or the days look the same like that's why i just haven't done something like this in so long and it already is feeling so exciting <sighs> okay so what pen because i feel like i don't want to i'm not like a pen snob because i have so many pens and I use so many different kinds. And it usually, like, doesn't bother me. But lately, I've just been really, really gravitating towards this pen. Um, I have, like, a ton in my cart on Amazon that I'm thinking about buying. Um, just to try some new ones, some new brands that I haven't tried. Or, um, you know, stuff like that. But I am going to plan out today. So... It is the morning. I've had my cup of coffee. All the kids are at school. Okay. I'm trying to like reset my brain a little bit. I think sick day is like, what is a sick day as a mom, first of all? Secondly, Every day is a sick day when you have kids. <laughs> You're like, I'm the worst. I never stay healthy. Literally ever. If you do something that's like some sort of witchcraft that keeps you healthy, you let me know. Because I've tried so many vitamins, so many things. I cannot. I either, like, I have the world's worst immune system, I guess. So, girls to school. Um... It's an emotional morning. <laughs> oh no, as I'm like saying how much I love this pen. Oh yeah, this is the one that keeps skipping. Oh, where's my other ones? Of course, they're not going to be right here. I'm going to have to like swap this out. Come on, man. Come on. Don't die on me now. Maybe it was just this point. Whatever. The more I go over it, the worse it's going to look. So let's just hope it was that part. Um, emotional morning for Beatrice. And then. Uh, so I know she's got to be tired. At least she slept. Listen, at least she slept on the two and a half hour drive home because mama didn't. And mama was tired. <laughs> um, Mia's so tired. the concert all right sick day cough oh, what is this pen doing it's making me so sad and of course I don't know where any of the other ones are I bought like a five pack of these I just not even the fact that my desk is super messy <laughs> which it is but it just I don't know I like took them all you know what they're probably in my work desk dang it oh well oh well it's gonna have to be fine um so plan on it I wanted to do laundry it must just be like that part of the paper because it's writing just fine um, laundry, I wanted to put it away. I want to, if I have time, um, clean the bathrooms. 
Those are like my labors of love for my husband. I want to do that so he doesn't feel like he has to. Um, hopefully I get around to that. I'm going to do... I've just been like working so much. I feel like I've just been like work, 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 come home, try and invest in my family, not the home, just my family and like be a person for a little bit and then I pass out and fall asleep and then do it all over again. I feel like I've not like felt... My husband does all of it, but, like, I've not felt like I'm... I enjoy doing, like, the quick tidy and, like, I enjoy putting the toys away. You know, like, little mundane tasks like that. Like, I kind of miss. I feel like I haven't done them and I find joy in them. Especially, it helps my brain, I should say. I feel like my brain is on overdrive all the time. And so to be able to sit down and focus and be like, okay, all you're doing is cleaning, like, organizing these toys. I can do that. Like, I will organize the heck out of some of those toys. Um, and even he, um, he even, what did he do? Went in, I said I was going to clean the girls' room. And because Christmas is coming, I feel like we all have that, like, deep clean mentality, especially right before the holidays. And they just had so many little toys that they didn't play with anymore that were just, like, I call them just, like, junk toys. Like, they're just, like, things that we've gotten or have been donated or like picked up along the way and they're just like junk toys that no one plays with so he went in and he like cleaned house and I love him for that um but I just want to feel like I can invest in the house a little bit I think it makes me like feel better when I sit and lay down in a house that I've kind of tidied up it's like my little reward for myself <laughs> um laundry clean bathrooms tidy I was just in my brain oh yeah I wanted to paint my nails um and then I did did like a full-blown face mask and I'll leave just a little space just in case there's anything else that needs to go down there um I am going, oh, come on, transparent stickers just suck sometimes. Um, I'm going to <sighs> go get lunch with my husband. He's working out right now, but. By the time he gets home, we'll go have lunch. There's just like so many little things I want to do. So I'm going to use another like to do a sticker. It sounds crazy, but it's okay. Another little to do list down there. Uh, okay. Uh, some of my other colors. I didn't think it was going to work. I was like just thinking in my head like watch it touch this marker and immediately <laughs> skip out. Which it's like kind of doing. Spoke too soon. Um, we're going to go get lunch. Get some cheap steak day meals. Um, I put this on upside down. <laughs> uh, what else was just in my brain? The reason that I put this down. Crap. I'm just gonna put things that are like bothering my brain and okay I wanted to film some YouTube videos I wanted to gosh this pen but I don't want to like give up on it now school supplies for my youngest she had like no school supply list at the beginning of the year and then all of a sudden now they have a school supply list it's very weird but I have to I have them I put them in my Walmart order the other day but I just haven't put them in her actual book bag 
and either like we can go or we can like drop it off we could probably just drop it off to be honest because we have to do a CVS gosh I'm just gonna throw this pen away it's so sad because we have to do a CVS pickup for her anyways so I think we'll just stake day and then we'll drive into town and do these things And then after that, make sure we do those, blah, blah, blah. I have work tonight. So what time is that? If you're slowly dying watching me use this, like, junky pen right now, so am I. <sighs> CVS pickup. I'm trying to think if there's like anything else in my brain that I was unsure of. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think what I'm going to do. <coughs> I, this is for my daughter's party. need a call I think I know what we're gonna do for it she loves spider-man we're gonna do like a spider-man thing I just want to know if she wants to it's just an idea I had I was showering she wants to do like a pajama party either or if she wants everyone to wear like red and blue for spider-man but I think a pajama party with her and her friends would be so cute yeah, not a sleepover obviously it's a bunch of five-year-olds but just like a pajama party and then I was Again, just big picture thinking. Um, if, like, we had a projector or borrowed a projector, we can either, like, play not the Spider-Man movie, but that, like, little Spidey Friends show on, not Netflix, on Disney. Or, what was the other thing? Or, oh, the theme song, like, the music, like, find Spider-Man music to play those are just some ideas that were floating around in the old noggin uh sydney party sydney party sydney party and then what else was in my brain so maybe i'll like call oceanside and then what else? Oh, I wanted to do another sticky note. Of YouTube videos. So, if you're watching this, you'll get a little sneak peek. Um, I want to, like, update my December dailies. I'm going to do a video about habit tracking. Obviously, this isn't all getting done today. But, uh, what was the other one? Goal planning. And then I had like another idea. Oh, staying consistent. I'm not looking at speed. YouTube idea plans. I'll just put those on the side. Oh, this is already feeling like way more me. <laughs> I haven't planned like this in so long. Um, I keep just like staring over at this and how beautiful this looks. And I want to make a point to use it next year. I feel like it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Even if I use it in a different capacity, who knows? We'll see. Uh, I guess I should do something for, like, dinner. I mean, I'm not going to be able to cook. 
But if I pull meat out, my husband can cook for them since I work like all night. Gosh, this bed. Pull out meat. Okay, and then he can make like tumberloin. Oh, and then maybe while we're in town, go to the grocery store. And look at that. That's how the day gets filled up very organically. That is exactly how the day gets filled up for me. I, you can see, I like took things, laundry, grocery list, all those things are here. And I didn't put that I had like this awesome cup of coffee or anything, but that's okay. Um, everything made it to the list. Everything made it to the list. I'll put down here. Chris went to the gym. <sighs> it feels good. It feels really good. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm going to throw this pen away. I promise you or me will never ever see that pen with that little sticker on it again. It's in my little trash can. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.